obviously our guys played really hard, giving ourselves a chance to win. We were, we were severely outmanned, outsized, um, a little bit out of everything. But uh, I don't think we, I don't think they had a bigger heart than we did, and that's why we had a chance to stay in the game as long as we did. JC was a big part of that. How much did the fouls yeah, throw your rotation really and everything off? Really significant. We, we battled that um, really in every contest we were playing, and so uh, we've emphasized it more and more. But we're not over the hump yet, and uh, so it ends up. You know, we end up having to play guys out of position. Uh, we end up having to play them longer than normal. Uh, and um, it's just, it really puts you in a big hole, especially when you're playing, you know, an SEC team, which we don't do every day. You did a real good job, though, turning turnovers into points. I think it's 20 points off 11 turnovers. That that a, a positive for you out of this game? Yeah, for sure. We'll take them any way that we can get them. Uh, you know, and uh, we, we answered a lot. You know, they had several times to kind of run away from us. We had guys make good individual plays and get us an answer and get us back in the game. You know, we were down 7-0 to start the game or 9-0 or something like that. And then and they make a quick run to start the second half and we get back in the game. And uh, so I'm really proud of our guys for sitting, you know, for sticking with it. I guess looking ahead, you know, just a short week before you had know, the USF State and then, you know, second battle on Wednesday night at Don Juan. You know, for both of you guys, what are some things you think you can take from tonight's game and put on the court? Sequence, you know, they're not. They're, there's no regularity to them. 